Hello everyone, welcome back to Huskers in Enemy Territory. Today we're going to talk about the Vikings signing Patrick Peterson. Um, the deal is uh, one year, $10 million. Um, I didn't see whether or not it was fully guaranteed or if uh, partially uh, fully guaranteed, so like 50% or so. But uh, it sounds like uh, the Vikings are trying to shore up the cornerback position. Um, it looks like they're not probably going to do much in the draft as far as drafting anyone, in my opinion, uh, at, at the cornerback position. I think uh, he is going to come in and kind of uh, solidify the um, cornerback two uh, position. Uh, not on the wide receiver one, but he'll be on the wide receiver two, most likely. Uh, probably have Gladney uh, play in the slot, and Dantzler, uh he'll be on the number one wide receiver, my, uh, would be my uh, guess. Um, the Probably uh, my first reaction was, oh my god, this is pretty awesome. Uh, second reaction was, well... Uh, is this uh, a very good signing? Um, I think overall, I think it'll be a good signing, uh, just depending on uh, how he can produce or play for the Vikings. Um, are we going to have like uh, 2016 Patrick Peterson, or are we going to have last year's Patrick Peterson? And uh, apparently uh, PFF graded him 90th, out of 126 uh, defensive backs in the NFL, which is not good whatsoever. Um, first off, I'll probably start with um, uh, the pros um, on this uh, little video. Uh, I, I'm thinking the first uh, pro for this, or at least the you know advantage of signing him, is that he'll be able to kind of teach... Uh, some of the uh, guys that we have on our team, how to be uh, a good uh, cornerback. Uh, he'll be able to coach up some of those younger guys. Um, I think one other pro would be that uh, uh, he's coming into a new situation, uh, kind of a prove-it deal uh, with the Vikings, and also he's coming to Minnesota um, and being able to not so much learn under Mike Zimmer, but uh, I think Mike Zimmer has a knack with having um, old cornerbacks come in, uh, sort of like uh, Terrence Newman, and they're, he's able to kind of get the, the most out of uh, some of those older guys. Um, some of the disadvantages, um, uh, what happens if he does come in and... Uh, plays like his old self in 2020 instead of tw 2016. Um, you know, it just could be almost a disaster. And we're sinking the, the $10 million into um, one position instead of um, leading into my second point, um, not addressing the offensive line. Um, as of right now, I think the Vikings are probably going to maybe sign one more guy or even trade for a guy on the offensive line uh, to address that. And then basically in the draft, they're going to um, go ahead and uh, heavily um, pick offensive players, including offensive linemen, um, and then sprinkle in some defensive help where maybe uh, they need it, you know, maybe on um, the defensive line specifically defensive um, end and maybe um, linebacker and uh, safety because uh, we let go uh, Anthony Harris. Um, I really hope the Vikings do pick up uh, someone in the uh, in free agency, like I said before, on the offensive line. Uh, I mean, right now we don't have an offensive uh, or uh, offensive tackle for the left side. Um, Dakota Dozier I still, still is on the team. We needed to replace him. Um, unless we're uh, switching um, Ezra Cleveland to the um, 
left side offensive tackle. Um, if that's the case, then we'll have to find a uh, right uh, guard as well. So really, it's kind of up in the air. Right now, it looks like um, two offensive linemen that we're going to need to get uh, address. Um, uh, you know, even maybe uh, three, whether or not you, whichever way you look at it, really, because we do need some new um, depth uh, pieces, even though we resigned Rashad Hill, um, it just looks like we we're going to need to pick up some guys for the offensive line. Um, still need to address uh, wide receiver three. Not sure what they're going to do with that. I know we brought in Chad Beebe uh, for a veteran uh, minimum deal. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure on what else uh, we might go after a free agency uh but um you know maybe if uh any news comes out tomorrow uh i'll probably do a uh uh follow-up video on that uh if not then i'll do my usual video on uh friday um also if i um see any news uh this weekend on any signings for the vikings i'll probably do a video on that um I was also thinking about doing um, a March Madness type of video on Thursday. I think that might be fun. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but um, just let me know in the comments uh, what you like. And I might be able to do a little video on my picks for ma ma uh, March Madness. I think that might be fun. Um, and don't forget, uh, if I can get up to 500 uh, subscribers on YouTube... Uh, the Adrian Peterson um, picture is yours for free. I'm sending it um, out in the mail. Um, I'm going to uh, download a, um, a uh, like generator type of thing where it's kind of a random not randomized um, thing on a, an app or whatever. And I'll just enter all the um, names in there and then whoever it picks or whatever it picks it picks and then that's the winner um i'll probably do a video on that once i hit the 500 um uh, f uh subscriber um uh, mark and then th uh then we're on to a thousand you know so and at a thousand i'll also do another prize and 1500 and uh, 2000 followers as well so looking forward to that and uh so it'll be fun, you know, um, also in the works, um, probably going to be picking up a new camera so I don't have to be doing my YouTube, uh, on my phone anymore. It'll be on an actual camera and maybe, um, looking into getting a new computer, uh, so I can ramp up this, uh, YouTube thing. Um, sorry about that. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. And as always, go Big Red.